very proud to be human. Sometimes it's in seeing a simple act of love or kindness in a stranger to another stranger. Sometimes it's with being with amazing people like Pablo, who just makes me so proud to be a human being with everything that he's doing to reach out. Being associated with, uh, with Carl uh, in grad school uh, was definitely an inspiring thing for me to be involved with, and it led me into a, uh, a career in the space industry. One of the, one of the ironies of our space age is it's, 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 it's only been really by going out into space and looking back on our Earth that we really get a sense of our preciousness, our fragility, our uniqueness. And, and even though we have now explored, at least with robotics, uh, the entire solar system, our planetary archipelago, um, we have yet to find another evidence of life. We may be the only one. We may be the first in the entire universe, the first light of consciousness. We humans might be the first. That's a very imposing responsibility. Or we may be one of millions and billions of civilizations out in the cosmos, hundreds of billions of stars. The evidence seems to point to planets are the rule, not the exception. So you would think maybe we're not alone. How will we communicate with those others that are so different from we? The one thing that we do share, because we live in the same universe, is science. So we also share, rooted in science, is the resonances of the universe that reach our ears that we call music. So one of the fantastic elements of tonight that makes me so proud to be here and share this with you is the convergence of music and science and art and the humanitarian efforts that are being brought together today in this fantastic, inclusive, and, and inspiring group of people. I was an orphan of Apollo. I was inspired by the heroes of humanity that ventured off our planet and went to that place. Everybody look up. See that? We humans have been there. And if you, if you think about the moon, like maybe the uh, peoples of Europe used to think about the Americas. It was across an ocean. It was very hard to get to. You needed technology. Today, we, we go across the ocean of space to reach these distant islands. And the beautiful thing about the moon is that it's like the eighth continent of Earth, the eighth continent. It has resources that we can use and make better our human condition. And in our effort to create a world of kindness and inclusiveness and equality, we will also, through technology and science, create a world of abundance, where everybody will have an opportunity. So as Pablo, I have never met anybody that has inspired me so much in finding the others. The others that want to, thank you. Finding the others that feel so, so empowered and so inspired. I just want to thank you for allowing me to be one of those others uh, tonight. And, and to be with all of you as we celebrate, we're going to get into a rockin' good night tonight. We're going to get into a rockin' good night tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, what I encourage you all to do, find the others.